Okay, so in this video, we're going to be actually talking about how to use the CCC grader. And if you haven't registered an account for the CCC grader, make sure to watch our previous video on how to do that. So how do we use the CCC grader? Well, obviously, we need to go to cccgrader.com. And once you're here, what you want to do is you just want to type in the information that was given to you. So the username is the one that they sent you in your email. And the email is going to look something like this. Your account in the CCC contest system has been created and blah, blah, blah. Your username is this right here. And you want to put that username right here and use the password that you chose. And once you've done that, you want to click log in. And you're going to be granted permission to a page that looks something like this. So when you're actually practicing, you might want to use some other websites. The CCC grader might be better for some cases, but in general, we might want to practice on, for example, DMOJ. But what about writing the actual live contest? So when you actually want to write the live contest, what you need to do is at the top of the page here, it's going to say, for example, CCC 2022 um, senior or junior, and it's going to say live. And that's the one you actually want to be clicking, the live contest. If you don't see that, you might want to ask your supervisor, your math or computer science teacher on what the issue is. But let's say, for example, it was 2019, for example. And I wanted to take the senior contest. So I need to click the live one. And what I need to do is I need to click enter here. So once you've clicked enter, you're going to be granted a page like this. And it's going to say your first name is Timothy, for example, last name Wang, your school number is this, your email is whatever, date of birth, grade, and then gender, which is optional. And then what you want to do is you want to check all of the following that apply to help to determine your eligibility for CCC. So for example, I was enrolled at an elementary school, secondary school, blah, blah, blah. So you want to click that which just says that you are a student in Canada. The next one is I'm a Canadian citizen or permanent resident. So I am, so I'm gonna click that. And I would like to be considered for opportunities in computer science for females and other underrepresented gender identities. So you might wanna click that as well. So by selecting yes, I agree to abide by the CCC rules, which is something you actually need to read before you write the contest. So click yes and start the contest timer. And once you're here, you actually want to solve some of the problems. So how do we actually solve the problems and where are the problems actually? Well, the problems are right here. And once you click one of them, you're gonna be granted access to a page that looks something like this, where you read the problem. The input specification is as follows, sample input, and then sample output. Okay, so let's say you just finished writing your code for the problem flipper. And I will show you guys actually how to do that in a little bit. But once you're done, you want to go to um, the submit panel. And in this case, there's actually no submit panel because this was actually a live contest. So what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna go back to home and I'm going to enter a post contest version. So for example, I might go back to 2019. I'm going to go to post contest here. And here, this is what it's actually going to look like. So you want to submit a solution. So you're going to go select your problem that you want to solve and then choose the language and then select the file and then click submit. Now I'm going to quickly type up the solution to Flipper and hopefully it works. And I'm going to show you guys just a quick example in C++. So let's see, we have a grid that looks like one, two, three, four. So I'm going to actually delete all of this. So we're going to go delete lines six to 34. Okay. So we are given a grid. So let's see. And it's a bit small, but this isn't actually just to show you guys the solution. We just want to um, 
talk about the CCC greater. That's pretty much it. Um, so I'm just going to quickly type this up. Or what's the output? Okay, so we need some spaces here. Okay, so this right here should actually work. And the next thing that we wanna do is, you might wanna run and test your code, but let's say that that works. Then the next thing you wanna do is you want to submit this file or submit your solution to the CCC grader. So I'm gonna choose file, I'm going to go to wherever I stored that. So I actually stored it in my documents, basic training, main.cpp, and I wanna click submit. And what's gonna happen is it's gonna load for a bit, but you wanna refresh the page to see whether or not it works. So hopefully it works. I'm not sure if I wrote anything right or wrong here, but it's gonna take a bit to compile. Okay. Let's see. Refresh. Still compiling here. Okay, so we can see here that it finally finished compiling. And it's done. So whenever you see the word correct, that basically just means that you got the test case correct. And so there's actually a bunch of little feedbacks that the CCC grader is going to give you. And I'm going to type them all out here. So the first one is basically a compilation error. And this basically means that your program did not compile. If you don't know what that means, that essentially just means that your program failed to run. You wrote the code wrong. The next thing is time limit exceeded basically means your program took too long to find an answer. And basically, this just means that, you know, if you're in the junior division, this time limit doesn't actually affect you too much. But in the senior divisions, you will know what I'm talking about. The next thing is runtime error. For example, you might have gotten a segmentation fault, which means, for example, you created an array, but you're indexing it wrong. That might happen, so watch out for that. You might also get a wrong answer. This just basically means your program gave the incorrect output. Another verdict that it might give you is skipped test, which basically just means that within one test batch, you failed, you have failed one of the tests. And so basically what's going to happen is it's going to skip the rest of the tests as well. And then finally, the last one is correct, which basically just means that you, your output matches the expected output exactly. And essentially, once you've solved a problem, you can go back to the contest by clicking the contest page here and you can pretty much solve the second problem if you would like. And so that's pretty much it for the CCC grader.